A YouTuber named The Real JP is renovating an old cellar when he notices something weird on the wall. A big bat flies straight at my face, he later writes. This large pipe is the only thing that keeps the bat from getting on him when it leaps from the wall. I do not know where he went. Hopefully it went out the cellar door. What would you do if a poltergeist became more and more aggressive? Published by D-Dog Michael in January of 2022, this scary video follows this paranormal explorer through an abandoned building. Michael first encounters some unsettling sounds like bottles trembling. He thinks it's just the wind at first, but the sound becomes louder and more aggressive. This makes him run back downstairs. As they continue to explore, a window panel slides open, and later he hears regular banging noises in the hallway. When he goes to investigate, the banging noises get louder and more frequent. As he approaches a door, he asks the spirit if he can go in and look around, but the spirit seems to answer in the negative. He runs off but returns to the same door, and as he's reaching toward the knob, he hears something inside. Finally, inside the room, there doesn't appear to be anyone around, but he hears another sound. Out in the hallway again, he reaches for a second door, and a loud noise is heard behind him. Later, he is in a dark bathroom when chaos again breaks out behind him. He continues into a bedroom, and then he sees this shape in the window. Michael decides it's time to leave this place before whatever haunts it won't let him go. A YouTuber named Melmer4564 has a unique problem with her apartment home, an unwanted visitor who simply won't go away. You might not see it now, but it sees you. This small crescent shape looks like a human face, no matter what angle you look at it from. Even when the camera is fully tilted, you can still tell that is the left side of someone's face. How did this get here? And more important than that, why is it not going away? A YouTuber named Sans the Skeleton 101 thinks he may have seen a monster lurking in his yard. The out of focus object looks like it could be a creature on all fours, but I'm just not sure. It doesn't really seem to be moving and could just easily be a pile of dirt. Whatever it is, it sends Sans the Skeleton 101 running back into his house in terror. Let me know what you think it was, and if you think he was really in any significant danger at the time. YouTuber Paranormal Mai believes they've encountered a child genie. Let's see what that even looks like. First, a childlike muttering is heard, almost like laughter. He follows it. The voice continues and the yet unseen child seems to be playing with the lights. Yeah. 
as the child's voice grows nearer. Get ready. <laughs> Burada insanları rahatsız eden sen misin? Although we never see its face, we see its power. Dead. Is this really a child genie? What are the extent of its powers? I'm not quite sure, but I wouldn't stand by to find out. A YouTuber named Bradinator conducts a risky social experiment to see what would happen if he pretends to be a Russian hitman in public. Bradinator doesn't actually speak Russian, but that doesn't stop him from walking around in a black suit and sunglasses speaking on his phone in a made-up Russian-sounding language. This alone is enough to draw some weird looks, but I think what alarms people the most is the steel briefcase he carries around and repeatedly makes a big deal over. Excuse me, did anybody touch this case? Okay, thank you. He never says it outright, but Bradinator seems to imply that something bad could be inside the briefcase. Maybe even a device ready to blow. Watch this part and tell me what you would have done if you randomly encountered this briefcase laying there. Oh, excuse me, sir. Watch out for the briefcase. Watch out. Uh, don't, nothing. Don't. At one point, he apparently creates enough of a scene for the police to come and give him a stern warning. Listen to this part and tell me if you think it's real. I was just with my friend and gonna film a Russian hit my prank. Right. You come back, I'm gonna take you to jail. Yeah, okay, thank you. The voice of the police officer sounds kind of young, and the radio dispatch sounds like it could be a sound effect. Then again, they do briefly record a police car with its lights on, so maybe they really did get told to knock it off by the cops. A reality show that can take a dark turn, Whale Wars follows the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society as they confront whaling fleets over environmental issues. The society has often faced off with a Japanese whaling fleet, year in and year out. By season 3, in the episode titled Sliced in Two, the two parties decide enough is enough, it's time to have it out. Up until this point, the battle has been confrontational, but not terrifying. The Sea Shepherd's arms of choice, paint, spud shooters, and noise disruptors. The whalers, strong and effective water cannons. This time, however, the whalers go all in, heading straight into the shepherd's small ship. The Addy Gill is then, as the episode is so aptly titled, sliced in two. The ship lies in shatters on the open sea. The crew can't contact anyone via radio. It's one of the scariest moments in reality TV history. Even worse, the whalers start to lower an inflatable boat into the sea, likely to capture the crew and take them on board. The open sea is scary enough. Imagine being surrounded out there on the waters by your worst enemy. Luckily, the shepherds are able to save their crew in time. Everyone survives, and no one is captured. A happy ending to another scary event caught live. This bike rider is about to get ghosted. Published by Scary Desk in February of 2022, a man on a motorbike stops in the middle of the road, and he's looking down the street at something. A pedestrian also stops nearby, and he seems to be looking at the same thing, which so far is off screen. After the pedestrian leaves, we see this. A shadow figure walks determinedly at the dude on the motorbike. As he gets closer, he disappears for a moment, but the man deliberately pushes his bike over as if to make a blockade between them and then runs off. The shadow figure suddenly reappears, and he surprisingly runs off too in the opposite direction. What is going on with this confrontation? It looks like the shadow was as afraid of the encounter as these guys were.
Delphi's paranormal channel is all about summoning spirits with Ouija boards and other scary stuff so it should come as no surprise when her house becomes haunted. She wakes up to a wall of home security system alerts, two of which occurred right before 3am. Somebody's been trying the back door. The house feels spooky at this hour so she decides to make a video about it. Can you stand behind me? She turns around only to find it's still there. I don't want to agitate it, but it look, it's like it's trying to show itself when I get mad. A shadow figure in the corner, or so she thinks. I must be losing my mind because I can see it too. Doubting its existence only makes the ghost more upset as she's about to find out. Maybe it wasn't the ghost. Maybe somebody tried to break in. Maybe somebody ran out of supply. That. What the? F she runs into a well lit room but can't resist one last look. Someone tell me what is sitting on the couch when she goes out to calm down her dog. What are you looking at? This might be a full-blown shadow figure apparition, head and all. This man, known as the Buddy, was one of the most popular users on the TikTok community. His dances were funny at first, but as he gained popularity, the videos became kind of more, well, I guess bold would be one word you could use. According to unverified rumors, the following video was allegedly sent to someone who is not of age. Watch this and tell me if you think this is an appropriate way to use TikTok, because I definitely do not. I mean, you're the cute one here, not me, so. He was reportedly banned for life from the TikTok community for violating their terms of service, but apparently he still has active accounts on other platforms. Humans are not the only ones spying ghosts in our midst. Animals are well known to be sensitive to various stimuli, often accurately predicting earthquakes before they happen and acting extremely anxious and skittish beforehand. These sensitivities also appear to include sensing paranormal entities. There are countless stories out there of pet owners describing their pets reacting towards unseen figures are becoming distressed prior to a paranormal event occurring. Happy Fox Productions is a channel making short films from comedy to action to drama. Things took a different turn on September 1st, 2020 when the channel uploaded a more meta video. Founder Justin Melson explains he was on vacation with his mother in December of 2019 when his home security picked up something strange. When he got home, he and his mom noticed the cats were acting different. Concerned, they checked the footage from the cameras and found something that shocked and puzzled them. As the video starts, one of the cats is visible on the bed, standing upright and looking around. She then reacts to something near the exit of the room, and right then an unexplained shadow is cast against the door. The shadow has physical features resembling a person, including arms and legs, and appears to be walking past the door and into the bedroom. As it fades from view, the second cat makes its appearance, seemingly following whatever was walking into the room. Both cats acting confused. As the second cat fully enters the room, a TV table in front of the camera rocks, as if something brushed past it. At the same moment, a dark mist briefly appears over the chair behind it before vanishing, and then the door starts closing on its own. The clip ends when the camera suddenly pans to the right, and Melson says it stayed there the remainder of their time away. In the video's description, he explains there wasn't anything out of place besides a few books knocked over, which could easily be dismissed as the cat's doing. But what doesn't make sense to him is he found clumps of cat hair around, a sign his cats were fighting. 
He found this odd as they had never fought before, and he has no explanation for why. From the sounds of his writing, it would appear he and his mom hadn't experienced anything out of the ordinary before, so why now? While well, people will certainly say this was simply a hoax as the owners have filmmaking experience, it doesn't explain the reaction of the cats. Hurting cats means an impossible task for a reason, as cats can be difficult to train, despite being good pets. The confusion in the cat's expressions and their behavior after does sound some alarm bells. It is unknown if anything happened after, but we are hoping there will be a follow-up soon. This Colombian video from 2008 is apparently the last footage taken by four men that disappeared, found inside an abandoned car. The footage shows the men driving towards a strange person dressed in all white, possibly a wedding dress. They slowly approach the person and attempt to drive around them, and that's where the video ends. What happens next is a complete mystery, since this was the only footage found. Skeptics have been unable to debunk this video or find the whereabouts of the disappeared men that were mentioned. It appears whoever was standing on the road that night will remain a mystery. Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. This 10 minute video shows a toy ambulance going off at random. Even though it normally requires someone to hold down the red buttons on top to make any noise, what's really weird is that it seems to respond to the voice of a child. Maybe it's just me, but it almost seems as though the ambulance was waiting for the child to count to a certain number here. It goes off a few other times, most when the child is speaking or about to speak. Oddly enough, both of these clips seem to involve the number 12. A YouTuber named Solar and his friends are checking out an old abandoned hotel that's rumored to be the secret meeting place for an organized cult. The first thing they notice is how the hotel looks to still be in use, despite being abandoned for many years. The pentagram in the floor looks recent and could be used for who knows what. They decide to arm themselves and keep exploring. Eventually, they wind up on an overpass and can see their SUV, but something is out of place. Honestly, like, we want to come back here. Oh, sh bro. What the f No way. Oh, a wheeled cart comes rolling towards them, obviously pushed by someone nearby. The friends know that danger is near, so they race to their car and get out of there before the cult has a chance to take them away. Cassie is with Danny Dorito and Ali H to find evidence of a spirit that they think is haunting not just this house, but most of the surrounding forest as well. They come across a ritual that someone left behind for some reason, possibly in a hurry. They figure out how to complete it and hear a noise shortly after reciting these ancient words, which I'm hoping someone who happens to practice magic might be able to recognize and tell us more. Rolf? Yep, roll. They decide to leave everything behind and are well on their way back home when something ahead interrupts their hike. Hello? Holy 
You saw that, right? You saw that. At four minutes, I can see what appears to be a normal pair of white tennis shoes that kind of looks out of place, so I'm not exactly convinced that this is real. An urbex YouTuber called RNK All Day is exploring a creepy building that used to be a funeral home before it was abandoned. The funeral home is not haunted per se, at least not from what I can tell, but what they find is every bit as scary as any ghost video you'll ever watch. You see, a long time ago, this North Carolina establishment was shut down because of improper business operations. People were not notified about their loved ones in a timely fashion, and the remains were often not stored properly at all. As RNK All Day explores the abandoned building, he finds evidence of their misdeeds laying out in the open. Sitting in a battered cupboard box on an old altar is a discarded plastic bag full of what appears to be ashes. There's no way to tell if these are the ashes of someone until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. A YouTuber named Mark Grillo catches a complete and total stranger poking around his front porch for no apparent reason. She doesn't even try to knock or anything. Take a look at what she's carrying here and tell me what you think is inside. It almost looks like it could be a cardboard container from a restaurant or something, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, you can't stand. You can't see in. The woman says twice while trying to peer through a window. Two other people stand at the bottom of the steps waiting for her, and they all walk off together. Exactly what this woman is trying to see is unknown, but it's definitely creepy how she struts around like she owns the place. The group seems to be wearing nice clothes, and I doubt she is trying to break in, especially since her hands are full, which only makes this video all the more bizarre. Overall, I have no idea what these strangers could possibly want or why they thought this was a socially acceptable thing to do. These videos were taken at the annual Global Citizen Music Festival of 2018 in New York City. Everyone is enjoying the late night concert until a crowd of people suddenly start trying to escape and basically cause a stampede. Nobody knows what they are running from, and they won't find out until much later, but everybody is moving fast and afraid for their lives. Their voices are filled with panic and raw fear fuels their every step as they grab their friends and try to get out as fast as they can. What the f just happened? I have no idea what's happening. The situation becomes all too real when a head officer of the NYPD comes on stage and makes a brief and serious sounding announcement. Try to move backwards is all the police will say without any further explanation, which sends everyone into even more of an uproar. Those who make it out find the entrance is swarming with emergency vehicles, but still nobody knows why. As it turns out, the source of the commotion was a large steel barricade that fell over and made a loud banging noise. The bang carried throughout the venue and sounded like someone discharging a firearm which caused a panic. I can only imagine how stressful this must have been for everybody, especially when none of them know what is wrong at the time. Fortunately, a strong police presence was able to keep the evacuation orderly and help stop people from trampling over each other. When strange things start happening inside your house, it's probably for a reason. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Dude 101 this video was originally published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in April of 2020. According to the title, paranormal occurrences have been happening in this man's home. The first odd thing you notice is that when the man walks into his living room, the door is shut while he's arranging his gaming console and things on his entertainment center. The door opens somehow. He heads over to look outside and check it out. After finding no one, he returns inside and the door slams shut. 
He goes back outside, but there's no one there. No one inside either. As he's looking around outside again, the door slams shut and he's locked out. He peers inside, but there appears to be nothing. Now he has to go around to get back inside his house. He lifts his camera, catching himself in the sights, while also capturing something over his shoulder. What is that? As he continues walking, he says hello to someone on the street. He's at his front door again, which he unlocks with a key, and immediately this happens. Absolutely terrifying. Bet you can't handle this video. It looks like this person is trying to do some repairs on their car. Maybe something's wrong with the air conditioning. Then I realize it's not a repair, it's a removal. A large snake appears to have crawled inside of the car, and the only way to get rid of it is through a game of reptilian tug of war. They struggle for almost two minutes and lucky for him, the snake is too exhausted to strike when he drops it at 1 minute 45 seconds. Most people look for loose change while others have to look for loose snakes. This is definitely something I wasn't expecting. It goes to show you never really know what's lurking in your car. While walking down an empty street at night, this man encountered not one but three witches posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Enrique Glue. He hears them before he sees them. The witches are making these horror movie noises that are creepy in and of themselves. <laughs> As he walks, he spies this figure off to his right. He then makes a run for it, but their scary wails follow him. Next, he spies this figure to the left. He continues running as the screaming gets crazier. <laughs> And lastly, another figure in white coming from this alleyway to the right. Many in the comments think the noise sounds like cats or an upset husky. Others say this is obviously the call for the witch meeting. What do you think is happening here? I can't imagine it's anything good. <laughs> This home inspector wasn't expecting to find this. Published by Cleveland Marco in July of 2011, the inspector is at this residence and explains that a former resident is said to have passed away in her sleep there and that her ghost remains. As he's explaining that the ghost is said to enjoy walking around and opening doors in the home, a door opposite slams open by itself. This surprises them all. And she likes to open doors. And she says, well, they say that doors open by themselves. No way! They try it again. The inspector opens a door, and as he does, the door across the room opens as well. All right, let's do this again. All right. Here it goes. Open the door. This happens three times. While well, some are saying it's the air pressure in the room, others are keener on the ghost story. I definitely think something mysterious is going on in this house. This giant sky disturbance over Japan was captured on multiple cameras in 2013, so there's little doubt that it is real. The question then becomes not if this happened, but rather what caused it. I think that this was most likely a comet, but others claim this is clearly a failed Russian rocket launch or even a UFO. Watch this part and you can see how the comet becomes very bright as it hits Earth's atmosphere and then fizzles out quickly. At the same time, I can definitely see how people would think this was a UFO blasting into deep space or a rocket disintegrating. It does seem to kind of disappear without warning. So let me know which of these three possibilities you think it was. When police officers stopped to assist a car that had broken down on the side of Southeast Loop 820 in Forest Hill, Texas, 
They probably weren't thinking this was a super risky call, but they'd be wrong. As the three police officers and two motorists awaited a tow truck, lights flashing, a vehicle sped at top speed towards them, completely out of control, and they nearly didn't notice until it was too late. You can see in the video that the group is oblivious to what is about to happen until one officer spots the vehicle flying in their direction. Just in time to throw the group out of harm's way, the car sideswiped one police car, slammed head on into another, and barely avoided the broken down vehicle and all the people milling around on the shoulder. After plowing through, the rogue vehicle ricocheted back into traffic, but then returned to the roadside, where it screeched to a halt. When the car stopped, police hurried to remove the driver. Unsurprisingly, 26-year-old motorist Cedric Keith Henson Jr. had been drinking and was detained at the scene. Although no one was hurt, they very well could have been. This creepy footage shot in Portugal of a strange beast that has some wondering if the chupacabra is actually real and if this footage is finally proof of its existence. What's the chupacabra? According to Wikipedia, the chupacabra is a legendary creature in the folklore of parts of the Americas with its first purported sighting reported in Puerto Rico. Chupacabra literally translates to goat sucker in Spanish, so when this creature was caught hunkering through the desert, it certainly turned some heads. The clip only lasts a few seconds before the odd, mannish creature disappears behind a bush. Some see the video as definitive proof that the chupacabra is real, while others question the video's authenticity. Still others believe it's not the chupacabra. It's just your average, everyday CGI. Whatever the case, it has been viewed thousands of times, so it certainly struck up interest. In the midst of the desert, this hole is hiding something. TikToker Sicaria Al 98 shares this mysterious video. Happening upon a deep dark pit in the middle of the desert is a mystery in and of itself, but the sounds coming from its depths take this mystery to the next level. It sounds to me like shrieking cats, but others suggest these are the chilling wails of those who have passed on. Is this a portal to the fiery depths below? If so, seal that thing back up ASAP. Strange things have been happening in this guy's house, which he says seem demonic. Published by Cayman Poe in May of 2011, he and his friends are up at 1 in the morning, waiting to see if anything unusual happens. After a time, they hear something from outside the room. They go downstairs to check it out but find nothing. Hello? But after heading back to their room, they hear another sound, this one louder than the last. They return downstairs and notice that the bathroom door is now closed. When they tell the demon to show himself or reveal that he's there, he does. They race back upstairs while considering calling the cops, but when they hear the demon again, Hello? They are lured downstairs. The door is open. This time, the demon doesn't wait for them. To the left. What the fuck? In a circle near a haunted hut, Om Vlogs sets out to complete the 12 hour challenge. <laughs> This is what happens. Something is right outside their tent. When they exit, they hear it in the trees. 
मेरे को झोपड़ी पे ना हल्का सा भी मूवमेंट से दिखाई थी झोपड़ी पे हाँ एंड देन दे सी एच इन द हार्ट रुक जब कुछ बेकाबू है ओई प्रियंक इस तरफ से आ रही है मेरे उस तरफ कोई कुछ कर रहा है Back inside their tents, they hear this, so they turn out the light. But that only seems to disturb it more. Light one. 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 And just when they think the beast is gone, light, 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 Back outside, it looks as though something disturbing has happened in the hut. Look, 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 Well, I'm not sure what beast is haunting them. I am sure of one thing. I will not be completing this 12-hour challenge. Do you hear that? Published by Indra Saputra Official in April of 2022, someone is singing in this abandoned building. As Indra flashes his flashlight in the room, speaking to the voice, the sing-song continues for a moment, but then all is quiet. <laughs> But then, when Indra tries to open the door, he can't get out. His camera light goes out and then starts flashing. As he turns around in the empty room, it's no longer empty. The light goes off again, and Indra is singing in the dark by himself for a time. The ghost girl is gone. What frights does this place hold? A demon sing-along doesn't sound like a good idea. A YouTuber named Daz Games takes a Ouija board to a 300-year-old mansion to record whatever paranormal activity he can find. His girlfriend is on the lower floor when Daz Games feels watched and this happens. Is there anybody in here? That. This sounds like a creepy noise that any old house would make, but the perfect timing means it almost has to be completely paranormal or completely made up. Then while explaining what he heard, Daz Games records this. That was a definite. This sound is much louder, more deliberate, and even harder to shrug off. It's as if the house is letting him know that yes, his suspicions are in fact correct, and something is in here with him. And immediately after this noise, you can see a ripple trace along his cheek, like someone is affectionately brushing a finger across his face. As a final test, they put chapstick on the Ouija board and challenge the ghost to make it move. I think I see Daz's girlfriend move the board though. Watch your fingers twitch at 15 minutes and 19 seconds. Can you move it for us? Oh. No. You're not even lifting no, it. No, no, no. Whether she did that on purpose or because of nerves is up to you to decide, but I don't think the ghost moved the chapstick. The other scenes, however, especially the finger across Daz's face, look real to me. This scary paranormal investigation comes from an unknown uploader somewhere in Russia or Ukraine. Two brave ghost hunters pull up to a lone house rotting in the woods, a haunted place known for strange poltergeist activity. The inside looks fairly normal, but being here gives them an unshakable feeling of being watched. They're exploring room to room and soon don't see much activity until they get towards the back of the house. That's when things get weird.
Okay, that's a lot of scary stuff to happen at once. I counted three creepy things, so let's go through them all. We all saw the ghost throwing objects to the ground, so that's one. You probably didn't see the shadow figure caught on camera seconds before it happened. That's two. A rising cry after the ghost throws an object to the ground is the third creepy thing. They are brave ghost hunters, so it's going to take more than that to make them scared enough to run back into the woods. More, but not much more. A ghost slams the door shut on a room that I guess they are forbidden to enter. Who knows what scary stuff went on back there. Strange secrets that even someone's ghost doesn't want you to know. And maybe it's just me, but right as the door slams shut, I think I see a shadow figure materialize at 1 minute and 55 seconds. Tell me if you see what I mean. Whatever they saw or felt or heard was scary enough to make them jump back in their car and never return. Elton Mene Severo posted this video in January of 2006 of an unexpected visitor. While playing with his webcam, this dude is being watched by an otherworldly creature from his doorway. Unbeknownst to him, you can see the outline of the figure lurking and lurching creepily in the hallway before it vanishes into the darkness. When this guy finally notices the figure in his webcam, he gets up to investigate and he's never seen or heard from again. I made that last part up. I have no idea what this investigation turned up, but I do know one thing. I sure wouldn't want to run into whatever that thing was in the darkness. There's nothing creepier than when your food moves on its own. Posted to TikTok by Jake M. Tapat, a woman is seen placing several small bowls out on a table for dinner. She notices one of the bowls twisting and sliding around on its own. She picks it up and wipes the bottom, thinking it might be that the bowl is wet. Placing it back, it still seems to twist for a moment. Is this just moisture at play, or do we have a hungry ghost on our hands? This TikToker has documented her neighbor harassing her for months. The following clips are evidence of the terrifying stalking. Posted to TikTok by Maddie Panic, Maddie writes that she lives alone and she's reported this neighbor several times. In the first video, you can see her neighbor through her peephole, waiting outside her apartment door. The video shows a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt, getting very close to the door as though he's listening in. The man's mouth is moving, but what he's saying is inaudible. He quietly knocks on the door. After no one answers, the man backs up and waits there. Later, Maddie captures what we can assume is the same man trying her doorknob. You can see the knob shaking, but the door is locked. Maddie looks out the peephole again, and you can only see the top of the man's head, like he's down low, trying to hide from view, or maybe even trying to use tools to get in. You can vaguely hear him say he knows that she's here. Well, this video is scary enough. A second video turns our fear up a notch. The man apparently lives next door to Maddie, and he tried to smash a hole right through her wall. She captures the damage on video and reassures viewers that cops are on the way. Maddie turned this TikTok account into pure documentation of this stalker's behavior. Her latest video shows she is safe and now in a new apartment. Maddie's advice to other individuals who find themselves in a similar situation is to document everything everything and protect themselves. This was truly one creepy neighbor. Sensitive sensor lights can sense stuff invisible to the human eye. At least this one can. Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Spread the Words, the redditor shares that strange things have been occurring in his grandmother's house. One of these strange things involve orbs that seem to trigger the hallway sensor lights. 
This happened on more than one occasion. The short clip does show an orb rising into view, and instantly the hallway light turns on. Is this a paranormal event or merely a coincidence? Believers in the paranormal commonly think orbs are light energy that is somehow linked to the spirit world. Skeptics believe they're just air particles, dust, water, or other types of photography backscatter. But how do you explain dust triggering a light sensor? While there are plenty of skeptics in the comments saying this orb is just dust, others are prone to think otherwise. How would dust turn on a light? A narrow knot 369 writes that he would assume it was dust if the motion light wasn't triggered by it. But every time the orb appears, the light turns on. Others observe that if the light sensor was sensitive enough to be triggered by dust, wouldn't the light always be on? Whose side are you on? These tourists left with a souvenir they didn't want. Published by Mystic House slash Horror Stories, this scary video was reportedly captured at a popular tourist attraction in Indonesia. Amongst the brambles on a jungle path, a creepy creature is spotted peering out from behind a stone. The humanoid-looking creature's head is adorned with strange ram-like horns. Its skin is a dull gray, its eyes heavily shadowed. Is this just a local having fun with the tourists? Or is this evidence of an unknown species lurking in the wilderness? <laughs> A weird security video from southeastern Nigeria has been freaking people out since October of 2019. Animals seem to disappear in this haunted alleyway, and then it happens to someone who they've long suspected of being a witch. <laughs> I think these security guards were bored and playing a joke. Notice how the yellow playback bar suddenly skips ahead whenever something disappears. It's pretty obvious that some editing has occurred. So my final analysis is no, this video is not real. What do you think though? This one looks straight out of a horror movie, posted by Wet Tent YT to the Chills Narrator subreddit and originally published to YouTube in September of 2020. This is an urban exploring adventure turned into a nightmare. The uploader explains that this is a follow-up to a recent video he posted. He came across several tunnels after leaving an abandoned garage, and in these tunnels he encountered a figure he'd seen at the last location. These videos were filmed within hours of each other and showcase a strange person or figure that followed me while exploring. If you looked closely, it seemed to have an axe, and its eyes also looked like they were sort of glowing. In the video, after wandering down a tunnel, the uploader hears something. He sets his camera down on the ground in the tunnel facing the exit. That's when the aforementioned figure is captured, pounding on the roof of the tunnel with what appears to be an axe. Meanwhile, the uploader races down the adjacent tunnel, and when the Axeman leaves, retrieves his camera from the ground, and races back towards where the Axeman exited, shouting, Who are you? No response. He should probably be grateful about that. Seva's Solutions is a health and lifestyle YouTube channel with a video that's going to creep out anyone eating an apple right now. For those of you who don't know, grocery stores actually will cover apples in literal wax to make them look shiny and therefore more appealing to buy. That means every time you bite into an apple, you're potentially eating wax. This YouTuber has created a method of getting the store wax off and wait until you see what it looks like at the end. First, she jabs an apple and runs lemon juice around the outside to loosen the wax bond. After that, she pours boiling hot water over the apple to fully remove the substance. After a few minutes of turning and pouring, she is finally finished. So as you can see, this is all of the just waxy stuff that came off of the apple. It's pretty gross when you think about that that's what you consume when you just think you're eating a nice healthy apple. This sludge at the bottom of the bowl is what the wax looks like once it comes off. Pretty gross, huh? It's definitely not something I want to eat. This video made me curious about organic apples, so I did some research and yes, 
They have wax on them too. Apparently the wax has been made out of a special organic substance, but I would rather they not do this at all. A family is crossing the border from Texas into Mexico when this SUV gets on their tail and shines a light at them in a ploy to pull them over that they didn't fall for. The family knows this vehicle belongs to a group of outlaws who collect money from any American tourist unlucky enough to cross their path, so they speed back to the border with the SUV close behind. They make it back to safety, but somewhere along the way, they have this strange encounter that everyone was too distraught to notice at the time. Maybe the grainy dash cam video is to blame, but as one commenter points out, it almost looks like this dog literally teleports into the shot at 29 seconds. At 27 seconds, you can see both streets are empty, except for a man and his bike, and then two seconds later, this dog appears out of nowhere and doesn't come into focus until it's halfway across the street. I guess it could have emerged from the street corner, which was hidden by the truck in front, but however you want to look at it, you may never expect for a car chase in Mexico to end with a possibly teleporting dog. Meteors keep flying over Japan, and they keep getting weirder each time. This relatively normal one, spotted in February of 2013, looks to be on a downward course until it burns up in the atmosphere at the last second. Then just one year later, another one manages to get even closer, this time piercing a cloud. A creepy stranger in a crazy mood is apparently trying her best to freak out the owner of this doorbell camera. With all the weird things she's caught on tape doing, she walks towards the doorbell camera while making a face, and she turns around when she sees the headlights of an oncoming car. Clearly aware that she's doing something wrong and afraid of getting caught, she steps away as the car passes, but soon she's back at it again, this time chomping at the camera and then doing some weird movements with her arms. Maybe she's got the wrong house and thinks she knows the owner of this doorbell cam. Maybe she's trying to get their attention and wants to be let in. She doesn't necessarily look dangerous but doesn't appear to be in her right mind and could probably change moods at any moment. So I don't blame the homeowner for not opening the door and seeing what she wanted. I doubt it was anything good. This eerie video has me doing a double take published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning York Minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in. He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called The Bell Fry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. Lizzie Arts is freaked out in her own home because a ghost is haunted wanting her. Just woke up to smoke one. Weird things are caught on camera all of the time. Really creepy stuff like when the ghost kept setting off the smoke alarm all night. I'm home alone. I know which one it is. It's my one. Right over there. The ghost seems to turn the smoke alarm on upon her mention. We have two more smoke alarms in the house. There it goes again. And instantly stops when she yells at it. You need to stop that! I oh, know that scares me. There are two other smoke alarms that the ghost is not bothering with. Just this one by her room. I think she should try changing the batteries and see if it still happens. 
If that doesn't solve it, then that means this video is really paranormal with more creepy videos to follow, I'm sure. A child is left alone for just a moment, but still long enough for her to have a possible conversation with a ghost. Look across from her at the wrapped silverware in front of the glass and watch what it does as she speaks. The silverware moves all by itself shortly after she reminds an invisible person that this is not their dinner. She could be talking to an imaginary friend, but that doesn't explain how the object moved without being touched. The ghost appears to leave her alone after this brief interaction, and she happily resumes eating as if nothing happened. Exactly what it was planning to do to their food could be anyone's guess. Filmed near Shady Lake at Arkansas's Washita National Forest, this family was camping in a secluded campground when they encountered a creature that some think is a myth. Published by Jim Harrison in September of 2012, the camera is panning across the darkness when a large hairy figure moves into view not far off. Needless to say, the cameraman turns tail to flee, and I'm guessing he made it out alive with this wicked footage to show for it. While you may not be a believer, many in the comments of this video are. A number of them even share their own encounters with Sasquatch. A ring doorbell captures some strange activity outside of Mike Crook's house that could be paranormal or a camera glitch. A shadow person walks down the sidewalk, mysteriously disappears, and even though he never emerges from the other side of the bush, you can still hear footsteps that actually sound like they are getting closer to the camera, if anything. The audio also plays weird noises at the exact moment the ghost disappears, which is even more evidence that this frightening moment could be paranormal. Considering this bizarre event was caught on camera around Halloween, I think it was probably edited, but maybe this is proof that there is something supernatural to All Hallows Eve after all. Ghost hunting YouTube channel in Russia called Dark Ghost Paranormal says they've caught real video evidence of poltergeist activity on camera while exploring an abandoned house that's haunted. After leaving cameras upstairs to record video evidence, Dark Ghost Paranormal goes exploring in the basement to investigate. For any poltergeist activity, the entrance to the basement has been boarded up like somebody really didn't want anyone to get in. Or maybe they were trying to prevent something from getting out. Something paranormal. He gets a creepy feeling down here. The basement looks completely demolished. Stuff thrown everywhere and so he goes back upstairs. Exploring the haunted basement must have set something free because it isn't long before the poltergeist is coming to investigate these ghost hunters. Something scary happens behind him. The voice of a little ghost girl comes from a dresser, one that just so happens to be a child's height and is no doubt possessed by the ghost of one. The ghost hunter examines the area for a little bit, and just when he's about to wrap up the paranormal investigation, the scary poltergeist activity picks up again. <laughs> This angle gives us a better look at how close the dresser is to the wall, way too close for someone to have been hiding behind it. The heavy object is moving by itself, or from a ghost to be more precise, and so he leaves the abandoned house to further rot. A YouTuber named Isaiah Fleming makes a YouTube video of himself cleaning his dirty room as motivation to actually get the job done and over with. 
during the course of this cleaning, the television turns on by itself, which I guess could be explained by accidentally stepping on the remote or something, and the door opens by itself, which is caught on two different angles and much harder to explain. The room is looking much cleaner after two hours, and he takes a break to go do something else. This next part almost has to be edited because it's literally impossible. Okay, so the door opens at 11.41 at night, and this time without showing any breaks in the timestamp, a childhood stuffed bear disappears from view. Isaiah comes back to find the television changes to one of the cameras he has just set up in the other room. It looks like he is trying to use his remote control, but it's useless. Nothing is there, then, with a flash of static, the bear is somehow sitting in the chair. He can't believe what he is witnessing at first, but as he looks to the floor, slowly realizing his house is haunted, he misses this eerie figure watching him through his own screen. A solo exploration turns up some spiritual company in this abandoned factory. Published by Spooky Gotham in January of 2022, this ghost hunter explored the Vatican's factory on his own. As Gotham stands outside, taking the place in, a window shutter swings open. Does this foretell paranormal activity yet to come? Once inside, he is explaining his investigation of this place when the spirits make themselves known. <laughs> As he continues on, he hears more strange sounds. Hello? And later steps on something. What does this mysterious claw belong to? While examining it, another banging resounds. And another louder noise is heard while in this enormous hangar. It seems like he's being followed. Super. Super, Baya. Thank you. Gotham then spies a shadow figure in a darkened window of one of the buildings. The figure walks past, barely discernible in the darkness. He later sees this figure or another up close. When he sets his camera down to go and check it out, something takes out its rage on the camera. Are these spirits camera shy, or are they sending him the message that it's time to leave? On occasion, images caught on a baby monitor can give you pause. Other times, they're downright paralyzing. Published to TikTok by Martin, the TikToker thinks this is a monster. A baby is turning restlessly in his crib. You can see a dark form at the head of the crib, but it's not yet clear if it's just an innocuous shadow cast by something in the room. But as the baby turns onto his stomach, two glowing eyes blink open and thin, smoky fingers reach into the crib from the side. Is this a spirit, an alien, a monster, a human intruder? Whatever it is, get that baby out of there and fast. A YouTuber named Signs and Signals goes ghost hunting at an old abandoned church he used to attend years ago. You know, this seems kind of creepy. I had some spooky things going here when I was a little kid. I've had strange feelings here when I was little. Things start to get weird when he enters the main area. I'm gonna try my best not to get the windows as much as possible just to keep from anybody pulling up because that won't possibly anybody on the camera. Why is my camera spazzing? His camera is glitching out in a very rhythmic pattern, and it doesn't look like he's messing with the zoom at all. Eventually, he gets it straightened out just in time for the strange sighting to be caught on camera. There's no way to tell if this is one of the ghost hunters or an actual phantom sighting, but since the camera goes out of focus in a really weird way, I think it could possibly be paranormal. Two ghost hunters from a UK channel called Paranormal Hauntings go exploring an abandoned building called the Ye Old Harrow Inn, a place well known for paranormal activity. Investigating the front desk leads to this moment of spooky tranquility. Just gonna turn that off. 
a minute. Their camera has caught an abundance of orbs in this area. In this area alone, including one extra bright orb that outshines the rest, a spirit they claim. Dust covers everything they've been exploring in this abandoned place, so maybe that was it. The ghost hunters unpack their equipment and capture some rather scary EVPs on video. Something in the next room over speaks to them from the darkness. That looks creepy, creepy. I can see her. A woman whispers to take her hand. Apparently, she's sitting in the doorway, watching. And maybe even reaching out for them. When somebody finds a spider in their home, some people would swat it on the spot with the nearest object, while others would try to find some way to let it go outside. Then there are a small percentage who would grab a camera and let the spider crawl all over them, like Fayo 3 here. Oh yeah. I got a spider crawling on me. He never intended for the arachnid to take a detour across his throat and then stamp its way across his face. He manages to stay calm and only has one thing to ask. And it's crawling on my face, isn't it? Why yes, yes it is. Right towards your ear hole, unfortunately. Thinking fast, he tries to divert the spider away from his ear, but ends up encouraging it to almost burrow straight inside. He is so lucky that the spider decides not to do that, because that would have been a horrible trip to the hospital for sure. Not that having a spider in your hair is any consolation prize, but you get what I mean. It's late at night when a group of friends hear a woman screaming for help and decide to investigate inside the house. They enter and look around trying to figure out where the woman is. Soon the cameraman realizes their female friend is no longer with them, and as they head upstairs they see her getting dragged into a room. They try to go back downstairs but there is someone blocking their path who appears to be possessed with a group trapped inside the house. They are eventually each picked off by whatever was in that house. According to the footage, the group was never seen again. And though their reactions seem quite realistic, I've been unable to find more information on the incident, so therefore I cannot decide whether this is real or a skit. Watch any episode of the reality TV series, Most Haunted, and you're likely to see some paranormal events occur. After all, haunting is in the title, but one episode in particular seems to show the first ghost caught on camera in the 15 year history of the show in which paranormal investigators pick over haunted sites. The episode in question was filmed at South Yorkshire's Wentworth Woodhouse, built in 1725. The private country house was forgotten in the 20th century and is often called the greatest historic house that nobody has ever heard of. The ghost appears in the form of a man strolling through a dark corridor. Come on if you hit it. If you hit one. What's that? What's that? There. I can Carl, I can see it now. Go for it, go for it. Oh. I'm, I'm right oh. behind you, I'm right behind you. Go, go, get your the show's host, Yvette Fielding, called it the most groundbreaking footage we have ever recorded. But rather than giving us the answer we were looking for, it just gave us more questions. Many claim the footage was faked, while others said it supported the hypothesis that ghosts walk among us, but the cameraman, Carl Beatty, reaffirms that this was, in fact, real. We have never seen anything like this before. We really don't have an explanation for what we saw, he said, but the replay of the filming clearly shows the vision in detail. Spooky stuff caught on live TV. Would you be able to put up with this unfathomable poltergeist activity? YouTuber Sylvia C has long battled an angry energy wreaking havoc on her home. She experienced yet another encounter in May of this year. It's happening again, guys. Lit. 
What unresolved issues does this poltergeist have? He seems to often take it out on the kitchen. Commenter Enki2 has some advice for Sylvia in the comments. He writes, Ghosts are like trolls. Don't feed them attention, respect, or most of all, fear. But I gotta say, with paranormal happenings like this happening around your home, it'd be pretty hard to ignore it. This video stands as a clear warning to always verify who is at your door before you answer it. This ring video was originally posted to TikTok by Wins Home Awareness. The video shows a man wearing a hood approaching the door of this residence. It's nighttime. He rings the doorbell and when the homeowner opens it, the man immediately enters without asking. It's clear he is a stranger. When the homeowner tells the man he needs to leave, the intruder starts stammering incomprehensibly. Who are you? Everybody knows. How are you? You need to leave. How are you? Out there. What's the reason here, Tom? The homeowner has to physically grab the man's arm and shove him outside. As he slams the door shut, the man starts pounding on it. What? What's the stairs here? Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs here? Goodbye. Even though he's now locked out, the intruder stands on the front step looking in. He tries the handle several times, just waiting there. What are this man's intentions? We can only guess, but I'd wager they aren't good. Skiers beware. Sometimes the snowbank is deeper than it appears. Posted to Instagram by Chris J. Fish, this GoPro video shows viewers what it's like to avalanche yourself. The skier is seen traveling over a snowy hill between two trees followed by some rocky crags. After overtaking the rocks, he immediately drops feet down into the snow. <sighs> He is seen frantically trying to dig himself out. After what seems like an eternity, he spots a glimmer of sky above, as someone on the surface is also digging frantically to pull him to safety. Chris says this is the first time he's been completely buried. He writes in the comments, I started to panic a bit as soon as I inhaled a whole bunch of snow. My entire throat and mouth were full and definitely had a bit in my lungs. He goes on to explain that his friend was staged nearby to rescue him if this happened, which anyone who's skiing across unknown territory should do. Did this scary event stop him from future skiing? Nope. He writes that as soon as his breathing returned, he was off again. Chris asked if we would include this PSA. He writes, The rule to dropping from big cliffs into bottomless powder. Have someone close by to dig you out if you get buried. I'm thinking I'll stick to the bunny hill. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.